spoke that, that you knew things were going to be like they were. How much is it possible to just make improvements between the last game of the regular season and the bowl game? Do you see a lot. the ability to make a jump there? Well, that's the purpose of what we're doing. I mean, we, um, you know, basically we took this week and um, and the first uh, two days we basically did spring practice type stuff where it was strictly fundamentals and guys um, worked to improve the areas that we had talked to them about and then. Um, you know, starting on um, Wednesday, we went into a more of a, a game week prep um, from that standpoint and um, still did fundamental work but installed um, some of the first, second down stuff, goal line stuff, and then we progressed each day with situational things for the game plan so that way everything will be in before we leave for Christmas. And then once we get to the bowl site, um, it'll basically be a review of what we've, you know, already done. But, you know, every day we're going to work to improve each player individually to get them better. Because we got, you know, when you look at our team, we, we basically have nine freshmen that played. Um, we got six sophomores, six juniors. So, you know, when you look at 15 of our top 21, 22 guys are going to be back for another two years. So, you know, we got a chance to get a lot better, and uh, we're going to continue to work and do that. Just from an experience standpoint, along looking ahead to next year, but the difference that's going to make, I guess, is for both of the results go. I think they're deep in this. Well, I think anytime, I mean, when you watch the more the guys play, the better they get. And I think that uh, uh, anytime you go from, you know, year one to year two, there's going to be a jump. Uh, the more snaps you get on the field and on the grass, you become a better player. So uh, I think I think those guys that are, um, you know, kind of getting their feet wet or thrown into the fire a little bit, uh, they're going to be. Um, you know, ready to do some things for us. What about, uh, we heard you guys uh, recruited Tremel Terry pretty hard to come over there and give you a look. What, what, well, what are you seeing out of him and how? Well, first of all, um, you know, when we recruit guys, we're going to do what's best for our team. I mean, it's really no different than Malcolm Mitchell going to, you know, from corner to receiver. And uh, like I said, I thought he could be a pretty dynamic corner. Um, and with, you know, with the, the receivers that we got and where he was stacking up, number one is, I think he can play receiver, and I think he could do that. Uh, then when you look at his body type, his size, and his measurables, um, you know, safeties in this, I mean, uh, corner, I mean, running backs in this league are pretty big and physical, and uh, he's a pretty big physical guy that can run. And uh,